Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna break down the fees for Coinbase whenever you buy or sell digital currency. I see a lot of questions around this topic, so I thought I'd put together a quick video. I'll answer what the fees are when you buy digital currency and when you sell digital currency, and I'll even show you a way to avoid fees entirely using Coinbase, so you won't wanna miss it. What is Coinbase? Coinbase is a secure online platform for buying, selling, transferring, and storing digital currency. Their mission is to create an open financial system for the world and to be the leading global brand for helping people convert digital currency into and out of their local currency. Now let's talk about their fees. All right, so let's talk about the fees. Coinbase charges a spread of about 0.5% for purchases and sales of digital currency. I have seen the spread go as high as 3%, so you wanna be careful when buying or selling Bitcoin. Additionally, they also charge a Coinbase fee for using their platform. This Coinbase fee is the cause of a lot of the confusion, but basically the Coinbase fee is the greater of a flat fee or a variable percentage determined by your region, the product feature or payment type that you are using. So you can see here the total fee equals the spread plus the Coinbase fee. The flat fee structure is shown here. For any total transaction amount less than or equal to $10, the fee is 99 cents. Anything between 10 and 25 is $1.49. Between 25 and 50, it's at $1.99. And between 50 and 200, the fee is $2.99. The, so like I mentioned earlier, the variable fee is determined by region, product feature, and payment type. Coinbase charges a lower fee for the US, USD wallet purchases and a higher fee for credit card purchases. Let's just uh, go straight into an example and it'll make much more sense. So let's say you are in the United States and you want to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin with a US bank account or your USD wallet. The flat fee would be calculated as $2.99. The variable percentage fee would be $1.49 because you're using your USD wallet and because you're in the United States and because you're buying Bitcoin. Now, since the flat fee is greater than the variable percentage fee, Coinbase will charge you the greater of it, which is the flat fee, $2.99. However, if you wanted to, let's say you were purchasing Bitcoin with a credit card or a debit card, you will actually be charged a, the variable fee because that variable fee is higher than the flat fee. And I will post a link in the uh, description below to determine what the variable fee is by region. Now, here's the most important part of this video. How do you trade on Coinbase for free? It's very simple. If you already have a Coinbase account, then that means you have a Coinbase Pro account. So what is the difference between Coinbase and Coinbase Pro? Essentially, Coinbase is a broker or a service that acquires Bitcoin for you and charges you a fee. So either uh, they charge you a spread and they also charge you that variable uh, percentage fee or the flat fee. Whereas Coinbase Pro is an exchange where you can actually trade on. You can buy and sell Bitcoin on the open market. Coinbase Pro used to be called GDocs until a recent rebranding. So folks, make sure you are trading on Coinbase Pro to avoid fees entirely, besides the uh, like network fees uh, for whichever cryptocurrency you're using. Thank you for watching and hopefully all the fees make sense. If you already have a Coinbase account, then you can go ahead and use Coinbase Pro right away. If you don't have a Coinbase account, make sure you sign up with the link below in the description and you will earn $10 worth of three free Bitcoin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe again, and thanks for watching.